fresh delivery, Miss Martin, so I'll run it over quick. Thought maybe it might be what you were expecting. It is, thanks. Well, is it good, or do we? We don't. They're throwing me out, and the new owner's coming in. Read it. New York Probate Court. By well, the terms of this will dated... Say, who is this Rodney T. Blackton? It's a new will, and Rodney T. Blackton's a new owner. Well, Jim, it looks as though you're out of a job. Are you leaving too, Miss Martin? Not if I can help it. I'm going to hang on here till they tell me to leave. But I'll be closing the books on the help. Tell them to come in, and I'll pay them off. I've got an angle, and I'll need your help. Only this time you do as I say. Do you understand? Marry you? Now, now, don't rush me one thing at a time. Right now, I've got another sort of partnership in mind. You know, I've got a hunch this new owner is going to sell me this piece of property cheap. Shall I tell you why? No, let me guess why. You're going to do something to that dream, aren't you? Bagby gave you a raw deal, didn't he? How would you like a square deal for a change? What do you think? All right, now you're getting smart. When is this nephew arriving? He's on his way, I guess. Well, I'll have to cut some corners then. But you do it my way. Keep that in mind. I will. Get in, drive. Hurry up. It's a rush. I'll tell you about it on the way. Home? No. Grace Canyon. Tall ones. I'll buy and we'll drink the luck. 
All right. Boys, that's clear out of here. What about the cattle? 
Listen, I'm playing safe. We'll come back and get them later. Boy, that was close. Those confounded animals. You all right, man? I'm okay. There's a house down the road a piece. If they've got a phone, I'll send for the truck. Might take me an hour, though, walking both ways. I guess I'll just have to wait. I'll be as quick as I can. Oh, by the way, would you please try and get him some milk? This young man's getting pretty hungry. I'll do my best, miss. Test your sit tight and don't worry. Thank you. Sounded like a child. Have you a baby, miss? Oh, he's not really mine. I'm his guardian. But I'm responsible for him, if that's what you mean. That's how I got all tangled up. I was trying to get some milk for him. Where'd that cow go? You mean that critter over there? Yes, the silly thing. I wasn't going to steal the milk. I only wanted to borrow enough for the baby. Hey, maybe you gentlemen will help me. You milk that cow? Of course. That's what a cow is for, isn't it? What's so strange about that? I'm afraid it's kind of hard to explain, miss. You see, there are cows, and there are cows. Some of them eat milk, and some of them you can't catch. Well, that happens to be the kind you can't catch. What were you going to put the milk in? I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Besides, it'd take maybe five to hold her down. Well, there seems to be five of you here. You look like a man. Who, me? Of course, it's kind of dark, and I can't be sure. But I have an idea you could milk that cow all by yourself, if you try. Alone? All by myself? Well, maybe you could. You know, I'm pretty strong. Oh, thanks a lot. I'll get the baby and have him all ready. Get the baby? But, uh, he's a bottle baby. You, you better get a pail. I'm proud of you, Gabby. We're all proud of you, Gabby. Well, what are you waiting for? Waiting for nothing, I guess. The pail. Oh, we'll take care of that. In the meantime, you better go catch the cow. Well, I ain't so sure about that, Roy. Maybe I talk too much. Oh, that's all right, Gabby. You're going to back up your words with great deep. Goodbye, old boy. I mean, uh, uh, good luck. <laughs> uh, here I go, dog going. <laughs> be the ranch house. They're expecting you, aren't they? Oh, yes, I think so. But I'm not so sure we'll be very welcome. You see, I'm really coming to take possession of the place. You mean you own it? Well, not exactly. The young man there is the owner. The baby. He's the owner. This? Well, I'll be doggone in Texas.
guess this is the place. Somebody's home, too. I won't say goodbye to him now, miss. Might wake him up. Try to him all that lullaby. But it was sure nice meeting both of you. Is there anything else we can do? Well, maybe there is. Would you mind waiting until I meet these people? Will you come inside with me? Do you think it's all right with the owner? I'm sure of it. Well, come on, boys. We're invited inside. See you in here, Sam. Yes, ma'am. That's probably him. Now, remember what I told you. I will. Mr. Rodney Blackford to see you, Miss Watson. Thank you. I'm very much, Mr. Blackford. We've been expecting you. I thought you were an Easterner. Oh, but my name's Rogers. Glad to introduce Mr. Blackford to the lady. Is this a joke? You mean that's Rodney Blackford? That's right. I'm his guardian. Oh, then you're Sylvia Clark. Yes, I wanted you, remember? Welcome to the West, Miss Clark. I'm your next door neighbor. How do you do? Uh, it's beer. Don't you think you better show the new owner to his room? Why, oh, yes, it's right upstairs. My name's Jackson, Greg Jackson. How about a drink, boys? Uh, <laughs> just a matter, boys. And no thanks, Mr. Jackson. Uh, we have an appointment in town. Ain't true, Roy. We ain't it yet. You ain't gonna throw that beef out, is he? Oh, I'm sorry. I should have asked you. You're hungry. Sam, put it back. Let's have some potatoes. Come on, boys. Get it while it's hot. Now, wait a minute, boys. You think Mr. Martin will mind? Oh, not a bit of it. Come on, grab a cup of tea, Rogers. I can't believe it. Disappointed? Yes, a little. I didn't realize the place was so run down. I've done everything I could since Mr. Bagley died, Miss Clark, but it's an awful burden. Excuse me. I'd like to thank you folks for the dinner, and I guess the boys now will be shoving along. Oh, no, Rogers, sit down. You're a Western boy. Perhaps you can help me convince Miss Clark that her best bet is to sell this place. I made her an offer, but she's not quite sure of herself. Well, you see, I'm terribly green. Mr. Jackson seems to think it's hopeless for me to try and run it. Why is it hopeless? Well, it's practically bankrupt. Water's dried up. Worst of all, there's no stock left. No stock at all? Well, not a head. All wanted off, I guess. Why do you ask? Because coming over here this evening, I saw her being driven off of this property. Some of them were wearing a Bankley brand. Triple X. Oh, they must be those stragglers, Greg. They don't amount to much. Besides, you'd have to work for Miss Clark. That takes men. I had to let all our hands go today. It really wouldn't pay you. It's not worth bothering you. What do you think, Roy? Well, I think you ought to keep it. The cattle look good to me. As for men, well, the boys and I haven't a thing to do. Oh, that's awfully nice of you, but I don't know how I could pay you. You can pay us later. Sorry to disagree with you, Jackson, but uh, you asked my opinion. Well, you're making it a little tough for me, Rogers. I didn't want to bring this up, but I have a note here for $5,000. The banker gave it to me for watering his stock after his water dried up. It's payable at once. It's all quite legal. You can read it over later, Miss Clark. $5,000? Mr. Jackson's been awfully nice about it, Miss Clark. He hasn't pressed me in the least. I'm willing to continue to be nice about it. I don't want to embarrass you. I might extend it a little. Two weeks? But I can't continue that indefinitely. I'd like you to think it over pretty carefully, Miss Clark. You think it over too, Rogers. And keep one thing in mind. You can't run a ranch on good intentions. There are a lot of angles that don't meet the eye sometimes. That's why I told Miss Clark not to sell, Jackson. Well, come on, girl. Excuse me, please. We only have two weeks. Will you trust me? Oh, I trust you. It isn't that. It's just that I don't understand. Well, that's just the point. It doesn't make sense. And it never will till we find some of the answers that are missing tonight. Well, if you're willing to try it, I don't see why I shouldn't do my part. Shall we shake on it? Miss Clark, you've made a deal. Well, let's straighten the rest out in the morning. Uh, maybe I'll have some of those missing answers then. What are you going to do? I'm going to find that herd. And if they're yours, we'll round them up right now, tonight. Hey, Pat, will you and the boys like to take a little ride? You have to get your face out of that pie, will you? How do you like that guy? What's he doing out in the range this time of night? Probably looking for cattle. Only he won't find any. 
Reminds me, Bart hasn't checked in. I'd better ride over and take a look myself. I mean, this is going to be our busy night. You give them a surprise. There they are, Gabby, down there. Some dispute about it, but they all have the triple X brand on them. 
I'm sure glad you came down, Miss Clark. Uh, Mr. Jackson here wants to make a deal with you. Oh, I don't want to sell. I appreciate the offer, though. Oh, it isn't that. Uh, your stock has been watering on my ranch. Rogers here feels that I ought to donate the service. I told him you'd pay for it. Put it on your note. Well, is that satisfactory, Mr. Jackson? Well, that's all right with me. If you'd asked me in the first place, Miss Clark, there wouldn't have been any argument. Oh, thanks a lot. You're very kind. Are you going back to the ranch, Roy? Sure, I'll ride along with you. You go ahead. I'll catch up with you later. You certainly messed things up tonight. Beat it. Doesn't matter. We'll get them back with interest. Now, if they find a buyer, they'll pay off that note, and then where will we be? Oh, so that's it. I thought I told you to forget about that Listen, note. Greg, that's forgery. If they find out, we'll, well be... they won't. There's no danger of them raising enough money to pay it off, either. Now, why don't you let me handle this my way? The property will be ours in two weeks. I guarantee it. More ideas, Greg? Pretty good, too. I'll drop over in the morning and tell you about them. Good morning. Can I see you a minute? Oh, Roy, I'm glad you came. I want you to look at something. I'm not very good at arithmetic. Can you please check these figures? You seem to add up all right. Fifty head at hundred dollars a head. Say, that makes our five thousand dollars. Yes, but you're overlooking something. Two weeks. Can we find a buyer in two weeks? Well, I think I've already found him. Here, read this. Better? A lot better. But why didn't Jackson tell us about this? He must have known it. He knows plenty, Sylvia, and we're catching on fast. Remember what he said last night? You mean about angles that don't meet the eye? Exactly. So keep yours open. Come boys, I'll be right out. Come job. I don't mind doing a gal a favor, but all we do is ride. Burning up good energy and cattle leather. You've been burning up her food, too, ain't you? Why, you're gorged to the gills right now. All he can hear is the dinner bell. Two helpings of stew he had, and last night I saw him take a whole pie and hide it in the garbage chute. Oh, I never did. Garbage chute? I thought that was a cooler. <laughs> Would you ring Mr. Sheldon, please? Clifford Sheldon? Yes, sir. You'll find him in the bar, last table over. All right, thanks. Mr. Sheldon? Yes? My name's Rogers. All right. I don't serve milk here, Rogers. The boys' department's downstairs. I represent the Bagley Ranch. I understand you're looking for some cattle. Yes, I am. Sit down, won't you? Thanks. Well, if you don't mind, we'll finish our little deal later. Suit yourself, Jackson. Here's your binder, though. Have the stock at the railhead in the morning. You can pick up the balance. That's 150 head. Right? That's right. Don't worry, they'll be there. Did you say the Bagley Ranch? Well, you must be a neighbor of Jackson's, aren't you? The next ranch. But we're not very neighborly, though. I suppose you noticed that. <laughs> Funny thing, I just spoke to him. I talked to him about your place. He said that most of your stock had wandered off. Well, he's wrong. We've got 50 head. Well, you don't have to take my word for it. I'd like you to go out and take a look for yourself, if you're interested. You busy? Well, not particularly. No, I could ride out with you right now if you got an extra horse. Well, that's fine. The sooner the better. Okay. Well, I guess I better get out of these city duds. Only take me about a minute to change. I'll meet you outside. Hmm? All right. Was that necessary? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Careful, boys. We don't want no trouble in here. Just an apology. How about it, Jackson? Why, well, glad to, Rogers. By George, isn't that a shame? Look at that. All over his nice, clean britches. Look, Bart. I can't see.
fine and no hair is okay. But none's half so fine as my boarding no shave. Oh, my boarding no shave. Her name sounds better that way. But Kathy is fine and no hair is okay. But none's half so fine as my boarding no shave. My Vorneen McCarthy is my Irish rose. How much I love her, there's nobody knows. She's my only Colleen, we're wedding today. I'm changing her name to my Vorneen O'Shea. Oh, my Vorneen O'Shea. Her name sounds better that way. My Kathy is fine and no hair is okay. Happy, I know, for she told me today she will be changing her name to O'Shea, and soon we'll be having some kids who can say, I'm happy to meet you, my name is O'Shea. Oh, my body's O'Shea, her name sounds better that way. The Kathy is fine and no hair is okay, but none's half so fine as my body's O'Shea. What's going on here? Who started this, Jackson? Uh, uh, this fellow, this Rogers here, Sheriff. He took a poke at Bark, then his hoodlums moved in on my men. Almost killed poor Bark. Somebody's got to pay for this mess. Looks like it's your move, stranger. Not me, Sheriff. Jackson here's got his stories mixed. There's your man. I saw the whole thing. Do you know anything about this, Mr. Sheldon? Why, yes, I saw part of it, Sheriff. I think maybe I can clear it up for you. Tell him, bartender. Go ahead. It was Mr. Jackson. I guess his foot kind of slipped and he sort of tripped him. These other fellas was just defending their pal. That's right. Rogers came in here and he was minding his own business. Oh. You don't want to call Mr. Sheldon a liar, do you, Jackson? Well, no. I'll pay up the freight, but only because somebody has to. I know this Rogers is stone broke. Send me a bill. Thanks a lot, Mr. Sheldon. That's all right, Roger. You boys ready? Sheriff, these are for you. Thank you, Mr. Sheldon. In the interest of justice, of course. Thank heaven for them bills, Miss Clark. You don't know what a strain it is, fighting 11 men on an empty stomach. Excuse me, I'm a little faint. You don't mind if I help myself. Boy, what a fight I put up. You ought to have been there, Miss Clark. I must have been there every place at once. A darting and a grappling. I was quicker than a range for it. And that finish? Oh, it was glorious. Oh, how do you know how it ended? You were so scared you couldn't see. Well, will you look at this, boys? That's where all the grub's going. In Gabby. Yeah, and it's got to stop. What do you think we ought to do with him? Well, we can boil him down for his essential juices, maybe. You know, turning cannibals the only way we're going to get a square meal around here? Oh, stop it, boys. Heroes got to eat. Gabby, you said Mr. Sheldon was interested in our herd. Do you think he'll take all of them? Why not? He's our pal now. After Roy gets through showing him around, he'll do anything we say. You know what he always tells makes the world go around? Personality. Or pie, if you can get it. <laughs> He heard you all talking about food and decided it was his dinner time, too. He's right. I'll get his bottle. No, 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 no. Let me do it. You sit right there. You know, that little baby in me is jumped. Jump and see how the fatty's pondered himself. This has happened before, Miss Clark. Too many groceries and no sense. He'll be all right later. We'll just put him under the pump and then lay him out in the sun for a couple hours. Another slab of pie, boy. Pass it, Grady. Grady. <laughs> Oh, that must be Roy, Mr. Sheldon. Will you clean up those dishes, Vera? Yes. Well, Miss Clark, your boy here didn't misrepresent anything. I'm taking the whole herd off your hands. Oh, that's such good news, Mr. Sheldon. May I use your pen a minute? Certainly. There you are. Cash in advance. You have that stock at the station by 10 in the morning, Roy. Don't you worry, Mr. Sheldon. We'll keep our end of the bargain. Sylvia, I think this calls for a speech of thanks. Why not at all? 
It was worth it for the show alone. <laughs> I'll never forget the expression on Jackson's face when he slid down that piano. <laughs> and that melody you boys sang when he passed out. <laughs> it was first-rate singing, Miss Clark. I have an idea, Roy. Let's have a party for Mr. Sheldon to celebrate the deal. We ought to get acquainted with our neighbors. Will you stay over? Well, I don't know, Miss Clark. I, I really ought to be heading east tomorrow. Well, what about tonight, Sylvia? You can invite the guests, and I'll have the boys fix the place up party style. Well, it's up to the guest of honor. The pleasure would be all ours, Mr. Sheldon. Well, I don't know about that. I, uh... Well, the answer is yes, Miss Clark. Keep them singing, Roy. It's a date. Why, I'd rather sleep than eat my fill. He's an old son of a gun. So I got me a job with the cattle crew, and the boss said, son, I'm going to fire you, so I guess that's just what he'll have to do. He's an old son of a gun. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Just take my time. Taking his time. He's a lazy rambling, rolling, gambling, old son of a gun. Oh, there must be some place I can go. He's an old son of a gun. Where the rain don't fall and there ain't no snow. He's an old good son of a gun. Where the rooster wakes with a cock-a-doodle-doo and he says there's lots of nothing to do and the whole darn crew's going to help me, too. He's an old good son of a gun. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Just take my time. Take his time. He's a lazy rambling, rolling, gambling, no good son of a gun. Have you ever seen a turtle crawl? He's an old good son of a gun. He just takes his time, no hurry at all. He's an old good son of a gun. Now he lives for a hundred years, but still he does no work and he pays no bill, so why should I? I don't think I will. He's a no good son of a gun. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. He's just a take of my time. Take his time. He's a lazy rambling, rolling, gambling, no good son of a gun. Now I've been tired since life begun. He's a no good son of a gun. I don't recall any work I've done. He's a no good son of a gun. So I think I'll marry me a wealthy wife and settle down away from strife and sleep all the rest of my natural life. He's an old good son of a gun. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Just taking my time. Taking his time. He's a lazy rambling, rolling, gambling, no good son of a gun. Who, me? Yes, you. Well, I'm a no good son of a gun. stealing our pies. Yeah, and drop whatever you're doing and run down here, even if you're asleep. I got the tar and feathers out in the barn. I got to hand it to you, Pat. We have our pie and eat it, too, besides teaching Gabby a lesson. Say, you don't suppose we've got too many batteries. We don't want to kill him, do we? It don't matter. Pie steals just as bad as cattle rustling. And I'm through starving so that shaggy old moose can stagger through life eating six men's dessert. Ready, Bob? All set. Wind of the west, go to rest in the hills, an echo fills the night with the song of the sand walking. Memories of my love haunt my dreams when mission bells ring out with the song of the San Joaquin.
cabin. Eat our pie, that's a signal, make tracks. We're too late. Ain't that disgusting? He eat himself silly again. Now, wait a minute, Pat, there's something wrong here. They're all there, all five pies. Oh, oh, I've been hit by a tree. Cabin thieves, they stole our cows. Well, don't stand there gaping. They stole our herd. Right, Georgie's right. The corral's empty. Where'd they go? Down the valley. Way down. I'll get Roy. Come on, we'll get the horses, Tim. Roy! What's wrong? Somebody's rustled off the herd and they're heading down the valley. Well, let's go. Boys, come on. What's the trouble? Cattle thieves. Your cattle, Mr. Sheldon. We may need some help. Right away. Please be careful. Did you find out who did it, Miss Clark? Nothing yet. Are you going with us? Why not? I've got a stake in this, too. Well, you're not inferring that Roy would rustle my stock, are you? Well, I'm not inferring anything. Only I think you were a little hasty writing that check. You see, I happen to know how broke this ranch really is. They're pretty desperate. You seem to know all their business, Miss Martin. I do, and I'm honestly sorry for the girl. She got stung on this place. First the stream's dried up, now the stock's gone. It's a tough break. Awfully tough. Yes, I heard about that water situation. Funny thing, too, that stream drying up. Yes, wasn't it? Well, I guess we might as well be going back. We can't do any more good here. Well, you ride on ahead. I think I'll scout around a little. Maybe I can find out where that truck came from. The trail leads right up that canyon. Don't be late to be riding that trail alone, Mr. Sheldon. Why don't you wait till morning? Well, I'm going east tomorrow. See you at the ranch house later, Miss Martin. I'm afraid not. Whoever it was used a truck. Have you called the sheriff? Yes, he's on his way. I'll call his office. Maybe the police can trace that truck. No, wait a minute, dear. You say goodbye to your guests. I'll go. If we can do anything, Miss Clark, let us know. We know just how you feel. It's a swell party anyway. Thank you. Good night, Mr. Langdon. Good night. Good night. I'm Good glad night. you could all come. I just left him. Yes, out in the range. He found those tire tracks. Listen, Greg, I don't know what's happened, but Sheldon's suspicious. He's following those tracks up Grace Canyon, supposing he finds the dam. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We've got to stop him. All right, but hurry. If he ever talks, we're... Oh, I was just calling the sheriff. You're lying. I heard what you said. You and Jackson have been cheating us. I should have known before. 
Get away from that phone. What are you going to do? I'm going to stop Jackson from adding murder to your other crimes. Here, a sassy young girl with a shooting iron? up in Grace Canyon. I got the gal locked up and the sheriff's coming. Oh, stand still, critter. I'm doing some talking here. But that don't make sense. Who's murdering Sheldon? Jackson. Miss Clark's going to warn him. Oh, I wonder if I've got it right this time. Should I say it again? No, that makes sense. Grace Canyon, boy, and don't let the death ball kill you. Sheldon was here. Sheldon? Oh, I don't know, is he? Excuse me. You were just calling him. Don't try to kid me. Somebody's coming, Greg. Hello, Sheldon. Oh, it's you, Jackson. Exploring? Well, as a matter of fact, I was. There's a dam up the canyon a ways. Ever seen it? A dam? You must be mistaken. Oh, no. It's there, all right. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? What's on your mind? That's far enough, Jackson. about that dam, we're in a nasty spot. Now, you and Jeff and Monty get up there and blow it. 
For some dynamite left in the cache, you understand? You flood the canyon? What about the boys? Forget the boys. I'm thinking about us now. Well, she can talk, too. I'll take care of Miss Clark. I'll meet you in the usual place. Go on, get going. For Mr. Sheldon. They found the truck. Hooray for Sheriff Praskins. I'd better go tell the boys. What about our stock, Roy? You mean Mr. Sheldon's stock. They found every head in their ship on the whole herd east from Mesa City. Oh, I don't know what to say. If I have to go through this every time we sell cattle, I'd better take up something less exciting, like housekeeping or... Raising babies? <laughs> uh, maybe you could do both.
a cowboy has to sing and a cowboy has to yell or his heart would break inside of him at the gates of the home.